Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septeria 18. I have a flipbook style ephemera holder to share with you that I uh, put together. And I'm also going to show you how you can make one of these as well um, if you wanted to make one to store some of your tags, ephemera pieces, die cuts, uh, photos, notes, journaling cards, or if you would like to pack a few uh, goodies for a crafty friend. This is a nice way to package some of the goodies and they'll also have themselves a nice flip book that they could use. Um, so it's a great size. The size measures, uh, so this part here is like uh, the hinge or the part to hold the book together, but the measurements from the score line, or actually I'll measure it from, the, from both ends, it's about just over um it's about four and a quarter inches wide or just over ten and a half centimeters and the height is about four about four and a half inches or eleven point five centimeters in height so it's a, it's a good size it will store um, a good size tags and whatever you would like so i'm going to show you the inside and then I will um, do the tutorial and give you the measurements and how to put one of these together. It's just a, um, a cute little booklet or flip book. And so what I've done here, I punched a couple of holes and added um, some cotton fabric to decorate the, the hinge part of the booklet. And I have just added um, a little die cut and then added a bead onto some crochet string and tied it to the fabric piece just to add a little bit of a decorative dangle to the front. I did some simple embellishing using some of my die cuts that I have in um, one of my boxes with a bunch of die cuts to decorate the front. So I've kept that simple. Inside the uh, flip book is a pocket in the front here so I've put a tag in here just so you could see what you could fit in here. And it has a nice large opening so you can store a, a bunch of tags in here, note cards or little mini um, note cards here or some photos. I placed a vellum piece here as just a decorative flip page. And um, I just thought this would add a bit of texture to the uh, flip book or booklet uh, so you could add a piece of a vellum and if you don't have a vellum piece you can just use another piece of your papers from your stash to create this uh, flip page then there is a, a tag in here that i had put in here and uh, when i was making the booklet i thought i needed another piece of something to add another flip page and i had one of the tags that came from the same collection and I thought I'll use that as the flip page. So that's what I've done. And then on the back is a side pocket where I've placed behind the tag. And I thought that would be great to store some more ephemera pieces or little tags again, or anything, anything you would like. There is a nice uh, opening here. So there is a bit of room for you to add a bunch of um, tags or punched out uh, shapes using your paper punches. So it was um, a cute little way to add a little side tuck pocket there behind the tag. There is a, a large top pocket here. I just embellished the front part here with uh, some pieces that I have. Um, you can add another library style pocket to the front of the pocket here if you wanted to add another pocket to insert some more things. I just left it plain and embellished the front and on the top I did make a booklet and I just used a printing of what do they call like photo sorry printing paper printing photo paper photocopying paper just cut it down to make a notebook to fit in here I did this just so you could see uh, you can fit anything that's a little bit of has a little bit of bulk and you can see that there is room in the top pocket here so there is enough room if you want to add a little mini notebooklet or a little mini journal inside and that fits in there and I think this is a cute little uh, notebooklet 
I think I'd done a tutorial not too uh, a while back on how you can make these little booklets and this is another one that I made um, I think that this was one of the tutorial if you wanted to make a booklet to add inside I'll um, link down below the tutorial to make one of these it's really easy just using um, one of your papers for your cover I used um, a white cardstock at the back as a backing piece and then I just cut some of these uh, photo printing papers uh, to fit inside to make the booklet and then punched it a hole and added some crochet string and you can have it this way if you want it to make a booklet this way it's a perfect little shopping list for some uh, if you're doing a shopping list or writing some notes so I made that and the size the width of this one is uh, two and a half inches or six and a half centimeters wide the height of the booklet is about four and a half inches or 11.5 centimeters in case you want to make one of these to fit in here and I'll, I'll link down below the booklet for if you wanted to make one to fit inside your uh, top loading pocket I'll just get that in here It also gives, makes a nice little addition to um, as a gift if you go to make this as a happy mail. On the back of the pocket, I've embellished the front here as well with just some embellishments. Um, you could also make this part as another library pocket too, to add another tuck pocket. So you can have a library pocket here, a pocket on the top, and then create another little pocket here as another insert to add some more of your... Um, bits and pieces and then over here on the last page is another pocket again I've just had some um, die cuts this is a coin envelope that I'd also made in one of my other videos where you can construct a coin envelope with two different pattern papers of your paper scraps and when I found this I thought well, that just fits perfectly in there it's also great to um, put a few things in there some sequins, some stickers, some faux stamps or some jewellery, some beads and there is another tag in here as well. It's, it's also got a nice large opening there. And this was fun to make and it turned out perfectly the way I had made the measurements and um, I was quite happy with the way it turned out. And that's the back. So you can see here the pocket is a little bit longer than the uh, cover and I did that on purpose because I want to be able to see the pattern of the pocket and just peeking out through the edge there just to also decorate the cover a little bit as well so it's just a cute little um, flip book style ephemera folder so I'm going to show you how to make one of these with these extra pages in here with the tag and the vellum Again, if you don't have any vellum or uh, tracing paper, you can just use uh, some uh, piece of paper from your, your um, paper stash. And then you can also use it to journal because this is a perfect single-sided paper project. So you, I just use single-sided paper. And then you can use this as another single-sided paper and then you can journal on the white back part of your paper as well. So that's just another idea. Uh, so let me get all the... Um, papers that we'll need and I'll go ahead and put it together and show you how to uh, make one I'll just get the of those just, um, just grab the big scoreboard for now okay what you'll need is a piece of paper that measures uh, six inches by eight inches so you can use uh, your six by eight paper pads single-sided paper um, to uh, as your paper this will that will this will be your cover uh, so you want that paper cut at six by eight inches for your cover you'll also need another piece of uh, paper and that will be the uh, top loading pocket page 
and that is also I just use a single sided paper and you want to cut that paper at seven inches by four and a half inches four and a half inches by seven inches and this is the vellum piece uh, for this page or you can use tracing paper or another piece of your preferred single-sided paper you want to cut that at three and a half inches by four and a half inches and I did have a tag um, I might just use I'll use this tag I did have a tag but I don't know where I'll put it I did grab a tag uh, to make this uh, part here and I'm also going to make it with this side pocket so if you have a tag uh, that's doesn't really matter at the height you could have one that's a little bit longer and then you could have it peeking out so it doesn't really matter just a tag or make your own tag by cutting um, a piece of paper at about let's say four inches by so two and a half inches so you can cut one at four inches by two and a half inches then angle cut the corners so you can do that or just grab a tag craft tag whatever tag you like another little piece of scrap paper for that side pocket behind the tag and you want to cut that at one and a half inches and the height is determined by where you cut your angle of your tag so the height as you can see so the height of my one is just about the height of where that corner part is so that's how I've made mine so whatever your angle cut is that's the height you want your piece so again that is at one and a half inches by whatever height so these are the four pieces you need of papers to create the flip book style ephemera folder what we'll do first we'll start with the cover which is that paper at six by eight inches so this is my second attempt at making this um this is the one that i made and so i'm making another one uh, now as my second go so i'm hoping i'll get it right because i really wanted to show you and create and um, upload the video of the project and share with you if you want to make one while i remember um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it down with the cover facing down because so you can see the score lines. On the eight inch side, you want to score at three and a quarter inches or three quarter inches, four inches, four and three quarter of an inch. Oops, sorry, four and three quarters. So it was three and a quarter inch four inches and four and three quarters and then I'm going to turn it around um, right ways so you just want to make sure if you have direction paper you want your direction to be facing down because this is going to be the pocket part so on the six inch side you want to score at one and a half inches so you pretty much want that score line at the bottom not up the top there so once you've done that score line you're going to turn it around that way and score it at one inch so you're going to turn it that way so that part's done we'll now make the score lines for the pocket for the top loading pocket and so what we're going to do here I'm also going to do the same thing I'm going to face that down on the seven inch side you're going to score at half an inch all the way down and three and seven eighth of an inch so if you have this scoreboard it's just the little green mark before the four inch mark so you want to score that at three and seven eighth of an inch so it's half an inch and three seven eighth of an inch. So that's done. The vellum piece or your tracing paper or your piece of paper. You're going to line that on the three and a half inch 
uh, side and we'll also score that at half an inch then you have your tag then you have this other little piece and with that piece we're going to do the same I'm going to turn it around facing down on the one and a half inch side you're going to do the same as score that at a half an inch all the way down okay so there's the spare model right, let me just grab these back so let's see how i go recreating another one with you all right so what we have here what we're going to do first let me just put these we're going to fold this pretty much in half or on that little score line so let's just fold that in half for now and then you'll see that score line which is there we're just going to fold that forward and then fold it back So now that is how it'll look. So this part here is going to be that spine part where we're going to punch the hole. And that's your score line. And it should open up like that. All right, so we've got that. We're going to open it up and we are going to remove these two pieces. We're going to cut up to there, cut that one up to there and cut across it and we remove that. And then we can keep this to the side and then we'll um, use this little piece. Or I'm going to use and I'll show you what I'm going to use it for. So I'll remove that. And then I'm going to just angle cut this side for now. The left side just a little bit just like that up to we made that little cut so that part's done and when you fold this up this will create that front pocket in the back of the cover so that's going to be the cover i'm going to leave this one aside for a moment so let's glue this part down for now and we're going to go along and we're going to create the flip pages but I thought I'd just glue this down so it's not in my way for later so I'm just trying to get the glue to come out just a little bit of glue to the outside edge and that's giving me my pocket I'm just going to move this to the side what we'll make now let's make the this will make these three part flip pages so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn it this way fold this to the front and you can see that it's um, not align with that score line which is what we want and then I'm going to just angle cut these in a little bit like that and I'm just going to fold this in for now just to help with uh, with the way it's going to flip open and close so that's done you can create a thumb notch here if you like, so um, it's easy to grab what you want. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to glue down these two sides. So a little bit of glue on the bottom.
and along the side here. And we'll close that up. That will give me my top loading pocket. I'll put that to the side for one second. Sorry about my desk being really dirty. That's all the glue that I've been um, working with. Now let me see where we're at here. So the next part is going to be the tag part. And with the tag, let's see, we're going to... Uh, Trying to remember what I did here. So that's going to go. So that's okay. So what we're going to do here. All right. Let's just fold this so we can see where we're going with that. Folding that over. What's going to happen is that is. This is what I've just completely forgotten now how I did this myself. Um, so that's going to go there. Right, okay. What we'll do, we're going to add glue along here and it's going to get placed. Sorry, I've just forgotten myself how to, I did this. All right, I remember now. We are going to, I'm going to corner around this part just to decorate the right side. So I've just done that and I'm going to glue along the inside of that score line. Just going to go all the way down and along the bottom. And then this is going to get placed on top, but I'll do it this way so we could see I'm going to go that way. And slide this in this way and lining it up so where we had the glue that's going to get glued along there and the bottom and that's going to give us that opening and that will be the hinge that we're going to create the so it'll flip open and close so I want to turn it back this way so now that parts glued at the back along that score line and then at the bottom so now I've got that tuck spot. I'm going to just place that here because that's going to go in the front. So you can see that's going to flip there and that will flip. And then you've got that tuck pocket. So let's leave that there for now. Let's grab the vellum piece. And that vellum piece is going to get placed on top of that. So I'm going to angle cut these as well. Just makes it easy. We'll fold that in as, as well, just to make it easy. We put it together. And you want that part on the front. And what we're going to do here, I'm going to add glue along here. Not all the way to um, the inside edge, just leave a little bit of a gap. Place that in the front and allow a little bit of room where the fold is just so that this can also open and close. So and also making sure that it all lines up with the pocket. That's done, and now what I'm what I can do now is add glue all along here. And then I'm gonna do the same, just making sure it all lines up nicely. And again, just making sure it's not right on the fold to allow this to move. So all you're doing is layering 
this one on top of this one and then on top of the pocket by following the score lines but allowing room for these pages to flip at the same time so so now they all should be joined together onto this hinge let's bring the cover back and what we'll do with the cover is this part will get placed inside it's going to get placed in like that and then you can see that's all going to flip in and out and to do that we are going to we're going to glue inside the valley fold or add glue inside as much as you can And now we'll just place this inside. We're going to sandwich this inside that fold. Again, just making sure that the fold isn't all the way inside, just to give it room to flip. So just like that. Now you can see that it's sticking out here a little bit. And that's what I want it to do. I'm going to open that so that should be sealed that should be in place that should be in place I could have placed this in the middle but that's okay that's there and that's there and now this part here what I'm going to do here I'm going to which way did we do that I'm going to angle cut this up just a little bit out of this uh, fold line so i'm going to just go like this it's just up to where this fold line ends and then i'll remove that now just like that i went a little too far and now i can fold this up and create that back pocket and then this will be able to close some glue now on the edge and that we'll finish off that part so I've got that all done so this tag I could have bring this whole tag down so it's in the middle but um, that's okay I'm still happy with where that is. It's still in line. But even if that was sticking up a bit, it wouldn't matter po poking up. All right, so that is done. That's done. And we've got that pocket. Then we have this little extra piece here. And all I've done here is I've cut that in half along where we made that fold line earlier. And then I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm just going to create like a little tiny file tab to go on the side of the vellum page like I have here so and I've just folded that and I'm going to do the same and corner around the um, corners if you don't have a corner around it you can uh, angle cut like that so can you see you can angle cut that way and that way to do you know what and I'll do that now just for those that may not have a tiny small corner around it so just do that and then the same with the other side so you have that and then we can glue that and that will create a little cute little tab decorates the edge let's just place that there anywhere you like I'll just place it there just sandwiching the okay, tracing paper vellum paper So there you have a nice decorative tab. And that is your booklet all done for that part. Here's your pocket. Whatever I need to see. Pocket, flip page, 
tag with that side pocket at the back. And there's your top loading pocket up here. And there's your other pocket there. And there's your back. You can then punch one, you can punch three holes, punch one in the center and punch another two on the outer side. Or you can punch two holes to create uh, one of these decorative um, part when you can add some string, some twine, some trim, some lace, whatever you like. And then you decorate the front. You can corner around your corners. And there you have yourself a, a flipbook style ephemera holder. And even though there is a little bit of bulk in here, you can see that it still stays nice and closed. It doesn't sort of fan out. But even if it did, and you have a, a, a lot of stuff in here, it still will be okay. You could also use that other part, this little extra piece. You could use this uh, to create a closure part, for example, here and wrap that around to the back like that and then put um, a Velcro, uh, Velcro dot to secure that in place. And then you just glue the back here to keep that in place there. And that will also then hold your booklet. And that way you're not wasting any of the bits and pieces that um, was cut out. And so this was a, a great little project. Happy with the measurements that I came up with. You could even make this taller if you want to make it taller. Uh, so that's up to you. You can make a taller one and then use the same measurements for the width. Um, so that is uh, the project that I have created. Uh, a flipbook style ephemera holder. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and the little project and I hope you make one of the one of these as well and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.